Hey guys, your boy Alex here. We're doing another review of my adventures with Superman. So, from the beginning, I when I was doing the initial episodes, episodes one, two, and three, I, I was having some issues with certain elements of the story of the characters and the direction that the show was going in. But at the same time, I had really cool things that you know I, I thought were really good. You know, I really loved, and I wanted them to keep pushing it. So this episode, it kind of helps alleviate some of the problems that I was having originally with certain characters and certain premises. But at the same time, it kind of opens up other issues and problems that I'm having. Um, if you're hearing wind coming from my door, that's because there's currently a hurricane going on in the UK, essentially. So I'm going to try and uh, fix that up in audio if, if, uh, if you guys are having a, a problem listening to this. But let's dive straight into it. So beginning of this episode or the, the end of last episode, we had Lois really talking to Clark and uh, on the rooftop saying Superman's a liar and then it cuts off. And that gave me the impression like, right, is she figuring stuff out? Is she figuring out Clark and Superman? I really want Lois to figure this out herself because for me, she's always been a character that's been super smart. She's been super, she has great intuition. She's the best reporter on the planet, right? That's Lois Lane, that's her bread and butter. And I really wanted to dive into that. And I know she's young in this, so she's kind of coming into age, um, but it was great to see little snippets of that. So coming into episode four, we realized that she doesn't really know who Superman is still. Um, she doesn't know who the identity is. And so I was just like, oh, that, that's, you know, that's not that great. Um, but throughout the episode, certain things happen that kind of alleviate some of my concerns or some of my you know, negative points, let's say. So the, the, Jimmy, Clark and Lois, they get their first assignment. Um, they have to go to this kind of like fancy show um, with um, you know as with with questions given to them by Cat Grant um, but when they get to this show and they're, they're you know trying to cover some stories with Amazo's you know technology and things like that which is kind of the, the underlying thread throughout the uh, the season so far is this kind of technology and weaponized technology and things like that as they get to the show Lois is trying to actually catch a scoop she's not trying to be um, and stick to the kind of the guidelines that Perry and, and Kat Grant want them to stick to in terms of the questioning. She's kind of going off on her own questions, she's trying to dig for a story, but she feels there's a story there. And Clark is kind of like that, and they're, they're, they're kind of butting heads, Clark and Lois. They're like, Clark's like, let's just stick to the, you know, we're not getting anywhere, let's just stick to what Kat Grant's questions were. And Lois is like, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. So, you know, I, what I did like is I like, I love the, the relationship between Clark and Lois in this series, season. In this episode, there's probably been the most romantic scenes or, I guess, implications that we've seen. From the start, when they're going to this show, they have to get dressed up. You know, Clark's in his suit looking all dapper and, and Lois is all dressed up, all you know, nice and glamorous in her kind of suit as well. And when they first see each other, they, you know, there's blushing on the faces and stuff like that. And, and for the most part, Jimmy is kind of just you know, oblivious to all of this which is going on, which is quite funny. And when they're at the show, like I said, when they're doing the questioning, Clark gets thrown out, you know, because he's questioning too much. He's, he, he gets into a confrontation with, um, I, I forgot his name, but I'm just going to call him Amazo. Um, that might be his name or might not be his name. But the, he's like the main villain of this episode, villain of the week, which again is a premise I don't really like. But Clark starts questioning him in a more forceful way. Um, about some of the shady, shadowy things that are going on in, in the company. And he escorts Clark out, Clark gets thrown out, um, and rips kind of Clark's suit as he gets thrown out into the street, into the alleyway. And Lois comes and gets him, and then Lois is like, you know, take it off and stuff. And then it, it becomes this kind of like sexual, not sexual, but sexual-esque, you know, very watered down um, scene where Clark is having to take off his top to reveal his amazing physique. Um, Lois is also taking off her coat as well. Um, and they're sitting on a stairway and I love this scene. Um, they are obviously physically attracted to each other. Lois never realized how built and strong Clark was. So there's a physical attraction there. And Lois is really talking about her father and how, you know, her father, she, she's not amounting to anything. You know, her father has high expectations of her. She's been at the, the, the Daily Planet now for like a year and she hasn't really done anything, hasn't really amounted to anything. And Clark's like, 
well, no, you've actually changed my life for the better. You've, you've made me do this, you, you, you know, and Clark's kind of giving her this really nice reassurance of, uh, and confidence that she needs. Um, and so it's a very vulnerable moment for, for Lois, but at, at this moment, you can see that they're both extremely close to each other. They, they deeply do care about each other in a romantic sense and, and as a friendship sense at the same time. And I really like that. And at the end of this scene, Clark was like, right, I'm just going to tell Lois I'm Superman. Like you can tell if Clark's going to do that, he must really, really like Lois. He must have a lot of confidence and trust in her uh, and respect. And as he's about to like take off his glasses, Lois is like, oh, you know, Superman is just, he's creating my, this, this problems in, in my world and blah, blah, blah. And she's like kind of essentially shitting on Superman. Um, and then Clark's just like, oh, okay, well, maybe not now. Now's not the best time to do it, right? So um, I like that moment a lot. Uh, they get to a point where Clark is, obviously you've watched the episode already, so I don't need to go through the beats of everything that's happened in this episode. But when Clark's fighting the Parasite, um, it's, a re it's a whole new take on the character Parasite. Um, normally in the comics, Parasite is someone who can physically grab Superman and absorb his life energy, essentially and gain some of his powers and strength and energy and things like that and it kind of leaves Superman weakened. With this, this is more like a kinetic energy. If Superman punched it, it would absorb that kinetic energy and just reverse it back onto Superman. There was no like absorption of power. So it's very tech focused, which, you know, it is what it is. It's not something that I particularly like, but I don't like characters that absorb other people's powers. And I, I, I just like, I just want, I just like, you know, fisticuff fights, that's what I like. So there's a new take on Parasite, which, you know, I respect. Um, it wasn't the greatest of fights, I have to admit. This episode didn't have the greatest of action. Um, it was quite boring. Uh, it, and in the way that Superman had to defeat Parasite, it's just to let him run out of energy. Like, not fight him, not engage with him. And it was just a bit, it was a bit lacklustre for me. Um, towards the end of the, the episode, uh, again, you see Lois kissing Clark on the cheek, very romantically um and it's because you know they they they've gone through something together and their relationship is growing episode by episode you can see them getting closer and closer and i know at some point in the series they're going to have a falling out and this is how it always works they you know they love interest they get together something bad happens they split apart and then they find each other again and vice versa so i like the build up to the relationship i don't know how they're going to handle breaking it apart or making it more maybe they might not i don't know I, I hope they don't break them apart just for narrative sense because that's what happens in like all tv shows um but then lois kind of goes back with clark and you see this is the first time jimmy actually sees them go off together and he's just like oh you know i thought we were i thought we were like a three a three t three man team you know three man or woman team um, and he kind of has a bit of a negative or lonely kind of res response or reaction to it, which you know didn't didn't feel nice to be Jimmy. Um, but that's that's something that I, maybe they might play into. I don't know. Um, Jimmy's jealousy. Uh, I have no idea. That might be an interesting take because we never really see that before in any kind of Superman story um, that I'm aware of. Anyway, the best thing about this episode was at the beginning. Clark is trying to, you know, Jimmy comes with all this alien conspiracy theories of Superman and stuff like that. And Clark accidentally stumbles across a book and inside the book, like an article, sorry, of a magazine dating back like 15 years ago to Smallville and the flying kid of Smallville. And Clark's like, crap, this is evidence on me. I don't want Jimmy or Lois to see this. So he rips the page out of the book and puts it in his pocket. And that happens kind of early on in the episode. At the end of the episode, Lois is wearing Clark's coat because obviously she's cold and she goes into the office and she's just there and she like puts her hands in her pocket and she's like, hmm, what's this? And she pulls out the paper and she sees the thing that Clark was trying to conceal and hide from her. And then on the board in front of her, there's like pins. And this is what I love. Lois started figuring out, not like she's Batman, but she's, she's got intuition, right? So she's figuring out, she's placing all these pins and markers on the board and they're all connecting the dots. And then she gets the paper, she puts that there and she's just like, no freaking way clark is superman and then the episode cuts so you know i really like this episode um for those reasons i thought it was quite a boring episode in terms of action um but i think it progressed the story enough 
that I was satisfied at the end of it. Um, it wasn't the most exciting episode, but at the same time, I, I, there's something strange about this series. There's this charm, this continuous, like, I want to I want to understand this. And what I do like about the series is that they're not afraid to kind of completely like, like, deviate from the main Superman storylines that we know from the comics. The Parasite is completely different. Superman's got this this weird electrical thing going on, which we didn't really see this episode. Jimmy, Lois and Clark are all like together at the same time, you know, um, going into and they're interns. And it's, it's a completely different take on the story. And I'm really, you know, I'm really pumped to continue watching this uh, series. Um, if you haven't checked my previous episode reviews, go and check them. They're all going to be on a playlist under review. Um, and I guess with that, I've been Alex, so I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Peace.